Welcome to day number 32 of our 40 days of power. Eight more days to go. And today we are talking about breaking through by faith. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 30. By faith the walls of Jericho fell down after they were encircled for seven days. The walls of Jericho were very formidable for their day. They stood between Israel and the inheritance God had promised to them. Jericho was the first city that had to be taken on the promised land. The land was called the promised land because it had been promised to Abraham by God hundreds of years earlier. At the time God promised the land to Abraham, there was no Jericho on the land and there was no nation called Israel. But in the process of time, the descendants of Abraham went to live in, in Egypt and became slaves for over 400 years. And, and then in that same time, a new city arose called Jericho, and they went to take their promised land of Abraham and built on it. Now the descendants of Abraham have come back, and they want to claim their inheritance. But as they decide to claim their inheritance... There are people occupying the land, and they have built a formidable wall to make sure Israel cannot take their promised land. And so, practically, you would say that they've lost what God promised them. Somebody else has taken it. It's beyond their reach. But God had given them a strategy on how to repossess the land that was promised to Abraham. And I believe that it's very important for us to know that when God promises you something... Sometimes people may try to take your promise away from you. What is yours may be lost for a moment, but don't lose hope and don't just give up because if it is yours, God will give it back to you and you have to fight to take it back. And that's what they did. They circled the land, the walls of Jericho for seven days. And on the seventh day, they raised a big shout and the walls of Jericho fell flat. So... God proves to the children of Israel that his promises are yes and his promises are amen. That what he says in time cannot be diminished by time. And time cannot destroy the inheritance of God. And also that sometimes when God gives us an inheritance or he gives us a promise, there will be setbacks. And we don't just fold our arms and say, oh, we thought it was going to be ours, it's gone, and leave it to go. If God says it's yours, you have to fight for it. You have to contend for it. You have to fight the good fight of faith. You have to stay in faith. You have to continue in faith. You have to stay strong and ensure that the victory that God has given to you becomes fulfilled in your life. So today I just want to encourage you, don't give up because there were setbacks. Don't give up because there are storms and your boat seems to be capsizing. You're going to walk on this water. You're going to go around this wall and you're going to have the inheritance that God has promised you. And if you trust God, he will give it back to you and you will possess the land that he says is yours. So in these 40 days of power, we are marching and circling around our Jericho and it's coming down in Jesus name. Let's pray together. Say with me, Heavenly Father. You are the Lord of the breakthrough. You who brought down the wall of Jericho. Today I trust you to bring down the walls of opposition facing me in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, go get your Jericho and your promised land. I'm Pastor Mesa Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.